Welcome to Vancouver Talks, and today we're at UBC campus and uh, long distance relationships. Do they work? I, I wouldn't know. Never had a relationship before. Forever alone. I feel like they do, depends on how invested you are in it. Sure, why not? Yes, my parents have been doing it for a very long time. It does work, but you have to kind of build on your relationship before you kind of go and take that step. My girlfriend's actually away for three months, so yeah, it's working pretty well. It's okay. not bad, yeah. Oh, so three months? So it's not super long distance, but... Where, like, where is she at? She's in Hawaii. Okay, three yeah. months. Three months, wow. Yeah, she's her. volunteering. Oh, okay. Oh, well, unlucky her. Well, depends. Yeah. No. <laughs> no? Why, why do you say that? I just, I feel like you can be uh, emotionally attached to someone, of course, long distance, but um, that physical component of having someone there to, you know, just comfort you. People people need that um, physical physical contact, yes. As humans, that's like a basic social need, you know, that we, we can't like really live without. No. Wow. Straight up, why? Um, Have you been in one? No. Because I don't believe in them. I think that if you were to give a relationship a real chance, then you wouldn't do long distance. They have been doing long distance relationship for about 10 years. How long, how long is long? Uh, what, what is long for? distance is my dad was working in Pakistan and my mom was here in Canada. Oh wow. And that went back and forth because sometimes she works there as well. So sometimes he's here, sometimes not, but they are together right now. So, oh yeah. Wow. Good for them. Yes, it, hey. it really means like building the relationship before you kind of take that step. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's difficult. Mm -hmm, it Contact is. Wise. How long is long distance? Like, what would you think? An hour drive over a bridge, over sea? I think it's anything where you can't talk face to face. Like, oh. if you have to do a phone call and that's the extent of what you can do, then that's long distance. Oh. Or like a Skype. Or like Skype a Skype, yeah. I think feel. I feel like Skype is still long distance, even if you can see them. You're not physically. You can't like, hey, what's going on? Just touch me. <laughs> Proximity just. It does make a difference. Yeah. You got to be pretty serious to do long distance. Yeah, I, it would be a great way to test out the other person to see how you really feel about that person. So I think it's a great learning opportunity. Mm. It's not that I'm far away from them. It's that, hey, you know, if this person's far away, how do I feel about that? Would I miss that person? Do I still want to be with them? You know, it, it makes you think. It makes it gets you challenging and questioning. So I think that's the good part of it. Would it be possible as like a year? Two yeah, years? for sure. I think it just depends on how mature you are. He's committed. <laughs> He's a rare species. They don't exist much anymore. Huh? Awesome. How long have you guys been dating for? Two years. Ah, wow. Yeah. Well, has your friends been relationships long distance? Yes, but it hasn't worked out. Yeah. Is it most of the time? Like 99% of the time? I don't know, maybe. Okay, now that you say that. Yeah, see? It seems like a wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. But then, I don't know, it's possible. Well, how would that even be possible? Like, Depends on the couple? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it depends on your personality. Would, yeah. would I be able to, you know, dish it out in a long, long distance relationship? You could. How do you, how do you even tell that? I can't not <laughs> be able to tell that, you know? She's optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> do you know anybody that actually is, is um, currently in a long distance? And yeah, I, I... Is it struggling? Not really struggling. I wouldn't say he still kind of works things out. You know, they Skype a lot and they have a, some personal Skypes and stuff. But uh, I would say it's hard. It takes a toll on him. You can tell that, like, he's missing that person, like, constantly, yeah. you know? The physical contact. And, yeah. And just that person in front of you. Mm -hmm. I've been a friend of someone who was in it, and she was always really upset because she didn't know what her boyfriend was doing, but I feel uh, like that just really is more of a relationship problem than a long distance insecurity? problem. Insecurity? Yeah. 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 Hmm. I do know people who have never lived together and they've been together for like 15 years. Oh, wow. And they're married. And they're never, what? Yeah, yeah. So it takes really special people to do that. Holy crap. But it's hard these days. Oh, yeah. I think it's because there's way too many opportunities to, mm. you know, social media and everything. Online dating mm -hmm. and stuff like that, I agree. Yeah. So it's much harder now, but they're they're like an older couple. They're like in their fifties. Okay. So that's why it works for them. And you don't live together. No. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I want that in a long in a relationship. Kind of. Well, I, I think if you live together, then you kind of know the other person really, really well. Yeah. Right. I don't think I'd start a long term relationship. No. No. Yeah. No. Have you been in a long distance? <laughs> yeah. 
maybe for like a good two weeks or so. <laughs> Try, you tried hard. Tried hard, so tried hard. hard. My yeah. hardest. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I personally have never been in a long distance relationship, so I don't really know. I have not been in a long distance relationship. Will you uh, ever? I would consider it. Uh, depending on how a relationship is at that moment. If it's like, oh, I don't know if he looks me. <laughs> and then like, I don't know if it's going anywhere, it's going anywhere. But if you know that this person, you're with this person, you're together, then I think it's a... Why do you think long distance fail? Lack of communication. Okay. Yeah, so people just like, don't communicate too well. If they're like, starting dating, and then they leave right away. And you have to be in like a relationship for a while before you can like have long distance. Okay, so you have that, you have that connection. Yeah, beforehand. Yeah. And then it sort of cements your. Yeah. I feel like long distance relationships work temporarily. Um, probably a year would be the longest, I feel like. It would kind of extend, but anything longer than that, I. Yeah. Sex texting oh, and yeah, that's sex phone uh... calls. Does that work? Does that even help? It depends on the couple. If it works for some people, it might not work for others. So be open to it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we're out. The fact that you got a buddy here working the camera for you and you don't just set it up on a tripod, I think is like a victory in itself. Myself? Oh, I, know. I love him. You got as much as a guy can love a camera guy. And not be awkward. That's bad, okay. Uh, for Third sure record. Third time's the charm, yes, that's good. Thank yeah. you, thank you. That's why I have a crew. <laughs> West side. Virtual reality coming in, do you mm -hmm. think that's gonna help? Virtual reality, depends on like, cause like, you can play a video game on the Oculus, but you can't, hang out with your boyfriend while having the VR headset. If mm. you integrate a part of Skype onto the Oculus or whatever device you use, then yes, I think that it could be a major factor mm. in affecting long distance relationships. I don't mm. know where to look, I'm sorry. Because mm? mm -hmm. they all they have the um, online robots, you know, like you can touch physically. Oh, but that's, that's different. That's like, um, Say that you had sensors on your body and you can control what the robot would do. Yeah. It's still not you. No, it's, it's just you. You're, you're trying to replace that whole physical aspect. Yeah. That's annoying. That is quite annoying. Yeah. You can't make those quieter. No, no offense to skaters. I love skaters. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> uh,